Well, once again, I want to welcome you back as I continue to work through this backlog of wheels I've got to catch up on. Last week, most of you noticed that I uploaded two videos last Friday, and the reason was they were kind of related, both having to do with putting on hard rubber tires, but the two different sets of wheels had some different personalities about them, so I decided to split them up and kind of keep them individualistic for future reference. Well, this week I have kind of the same type of deal. I'm going to upload two videos. I'm doing somewhat the same thing on both of these. They have steel tires, and I'm going to tighten them up. But both sets of wheels have a little different personality about them, and a couple different things kind of show up. So I'm going to leave them as two distinct different videos for future reference. So the first set of wheels that we're going to get into in this video has to do with some uh, damage in the fellows that we're going to do some repairs on. And then we're going to set the tires again and tighten these loose wheels up. Now these wheels are a modified Sarvan. The outside flange is in two pieces. But the basic principle is the same as a Sarvan style hub that you've seen me work on before. Now there's some pretty obvious spaces between the spoke shoulders and the fellows, but these we can take and tighten up with a little wedge into the tenon. But the biggest problem with this wheel is a fellow that is splitting where the tenon of the spoke comes through. Now this is a real common problem, and if you swatch me put rim rivets in, this is what it is supposed to alleviate. Well this wheel has given away, and I think I can pull it back together. I'm going to put a couple of rim rivets in there and see if I can't suck this together. But I notice there's some filler on the inside curve and I've got to try to work that out so I can get this compressed back together. Well, as it turns out, somebody's put some auto body filler in this split, trying to disguise the crack, but it really didn't get it repaired. So now I've got it kind of cleaned out, I think we can draw it together and make a little better repair and salvage this fellow.
Well, this is just one style of repair that we run into fairly commonly. Where, this, where the tenon goes through the fellow, it basically cuts the fellow in half and it can kind of cause these bulges to where they finally give away. But I think we'll have a good pair of wheels here. So once again, thanks for watching.